Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm here with another vlog and I've got a really fun day and evening planned actually, so I've got quite a lot. This isn't going to be like a home day vlog. I'm going to get my hair trimmed, which is going to be fun. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping and I'm seeing Anna, we're doing some work stuff, I'm going to a play tonight, it's going to be a pretty packed day. This video is going up in a few weeks time, so as I'm filming this I've still got a tan, but when it goes live I probably won't anymore, which is sad times. So I thought I would start this vlog this morning whilst I get ready for the day. I'm actually already dressed, I've done my hair and makeup, but this video is sponsored by Braun, who you guys know I work with on a regular basis. So let's go into the bathroom and I'll chat to you about it in there. Okay, so this is the little bag that I keep my epilator and all the attachments in. It comes actually with the epilator when you buy it. And this one I've got here is the new Braun Silk Epple 9 epilator with the new Senso Smart technology. It's a beauty tool for your whole body and it can carry out four at-home beauty treatments just with this one device. It's actually the world's fastest and most precise epilator but don't be put off by the noise which sounds like this because <laughs> I actually don't find it painful at all. You get really used to it and I just think the more you keep up with it the less kind of painful it is. So it comes with 13 extras which is why I keep them all in this bag together along with the charger and amongst those 13 extras are two sonic exfoliating heads and this is what I used last night to exfoliate so I actually used, which ones did I use last night? The purple one because the bristles are a little bit thicker and I use this in the shower so it just attaches to the top of the Later, they've got this like separate attachment here that just clips onto the top and then that clips onto that and it is so easy to use wet or dry. I like to use it in the shower with my like shower gel and just really use it as like a body brush all over my legs and arms and anywhere I'm gonna be epilating. These exfoliating heads really help to improve skin tone and visibly refine the skin. Apparently they give off 3,000 micro vibrations per minute, which is crazy. The deeper exfoliating brush actually exfoliates six times better than if you were just manually exfoliating with your hands. And I just find that these massively help to remove any dead skin and also really helps with ingrown hairs. So I love using these as like a prep before I exfoliate. So I did these last night whilst I was showering and then today I'm just going to quickly epilate my legs and arms before I go out. I haven't got much because I'm basically trying to like keep up my beauty routine since getting back from holiday. I've got a bit of a nice tan and my skin is feeling good and smooth so I haven't got like long hair at the moment. I've just got like a few bits where it's grown back kind of gradually in places. I also like, just as a side note, I really like how, sorry, the light comes on so you can really like get into your legs and like see any extra hairs that you have. I also find it like majorly addictive. I just like sit here. I find it so addictive. Anyway, I'm going to do my legs over the bath and I'm going to finish off my arms and then I'm going to head into town and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So if you are interested in the Braun Epilator, which I always talk about because I really do use it all the time, then just check out the description box because I will have a link in there to where you can purchase it. I'm also just going to put on a bit of moisturiser on my legs seeing as I'm having them out today. I think the key to keeping your tan after a holiday is to just keep moisturising as much as you can. This is what I'm wearing today. My necklaces are from Masoma. This top is very old, it's from Monkey. Skirt is Topshop. Shoes are Gucci. And this bag, which I'm loving at the moment, it's from And Other Stories. I really like how wide it opens. I'm running a little bit late, so I'm actually not sure if I'm going to be able to go to shops before my haircut, which is really annoying because I have to go and find something red, green or yellow to wear to my friend's hen this weekend. And also, I've just been so good with not spending recently because we're saving for all the house renovation stuff. But I haven't bought any new clothes for a while, so I really want to just go have a look in Topshop and get a few new pieces because it's summer and a lot of my clothes are quite autumn wintry. So I just want a few new things to add in, treat myself, but I'm not sure if I have time now. So hopefully, maybe after my haircut. Okay, I'm in town and I'm gonna go get my hair cut. I really do like the length at the moment, but when it's straight, it just looks so unhealthy. So I'm just gonna ask for a trim. I'm not gonna go too short. And yeah, I'm trying a new hairdresser, so it's a bit scary, but hopefully he won't go too short. Looking forward to actually getting a little bit of length taken off of this. Okay, haircut done, and I really like the length. It is a little bit shorter, but it had, it had to be cut. It was so unhealthy at the ends. Um, but the lady I had, she had really curly hair, so she just knew how to do curly hair. So it's the first time like walking out of the hairdresser actually looking similar to when I walked in. 
Um, so a really good blow dry, happy with that. So now I'm gonna head to Topshop. Like I said, I need to get a top for my friend's hen this weekend and I really wanna look at what's in store at the moment. So I'm gonna head there now. Okay, I'm just in Topshop. I'm trying on this yellow polka dot top, which I don't like. I don't think it's very flattering around here. And yeah, I'm just not into it. Okay, next up uh, is this like spaghetti strappy top, which everyone seems to be wearing. Um, it doesn't nine. fit well at all. If you've got big boobs, the seam doesn't go underneath, and then it's just, it doesn't fit what I mean. You can see my bra straps. These are some trousers, which I think they're like kind of linen or cotton blend, um, and I really like them, but I think they're going to be see-through, so that's quite annoying, but I like the shape of them, and they're really comfortable. That was such a fail. You know when you're really in the mood to buy stuff, but there's just nothing, nothing suited me. Didn't even see anything I particularly liked. Um, so now I'm going to go to and other stories. They've offered to send me some things, so I tend to go in and try stuff on first because I'm not very good at shopping online. Okay, these are the world's best vest tops. I'm going to link them down below. I'm basically trying them on in every colour because I love the black one that I've already got. Okay, the pink, the light pink one's definitely a winner for me. I really like this like soft shade of pink. I quite like this like vest dress. I'm not sure I'll get a lot of wear out of it though. I like this dress, just as like a summer dress from having a picnic or whatever. I love the yellow. It's got these like little dots on it. I think that's really nice. I quite like these shorts, but I'm just not sure when I'm gonna actually wear them. I don't think I'd wear them like in a city. I'm not going away again this summer. Okay, I bought the yellow vest up because I need that for Saturday and then tried on some other things which hopefully they might be able to send me which would be really nice. Um, now I'm going to quickly go get some just like avocado sushi because I haven't really eaten all day and I'm hungry. Okay, the plan now is to go to Gleam and meet Anna there and Amy who was our new producer for this season of At Home With which is our podcast. We had a guy called Sam for the first season but he sadly left, we loved Sam and we've got Amy who's really really sweet. Um, so we're gonna go meet at the Gleam office and we're actually gonna record the like teaser trailer for season two, which is so fun. By the way, I totally feel like I haven't been sounding like myself and saying weird things when I've been vlogging today because I'm not really used to vlogging in public. I feel like I don't vlog that often anymore. So now when I do, I just feel really like awkward. I'm here with Anna. Who's wearing a red lip? So fancy. I really do look like a moon. Can I do, do a side angle? Yeah, yeah just stay, stay like that the whole yeah, day. Just like this. Anna's put red lipstick on because we're going to the Say it the way you say it. No, I'm not saying it. No, just because it's at me, I'm not saying it. No, lots the of people say theater. My ex-boyfriend said theater. It's not I wrong. It's just a different way. But you know what? Apparently, my mum says it. My exactly. mum and dad say it like that too. So we just a bit. yeah. My my dad says um mountain and fountain. We definitely don't say that. <laughs> Anyway, we are writing ourselves a little script for um, the trailer, teaser trailer, because we don't want to like ramble, so we're just gonna keep it snappy. I'm laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> yeah, Anna's <laughs> written, ha ha. <laughs> no, the I script. haven't. Oh, I thought you No, I just was like laughing. To oh, myself. right. Like, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, we need to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. Ten. And Lily? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight, there. Oh, you do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> but if you smile, they'll be able to tell. So okay. say it with a smile, even if it feels a bit forced. I read that one's about Kylie Minogue. Oh, really? Why she sings when well, she smiles well, singing. Oh. Hi, everyone. I'm Anna Newton. And I'm Lily Pebbles. And surprise, we're back for season two of At Home With. Woo! Well, kind of. And in the meantime, if you haven't caught up with season one, you can listen to the previous previous episodes that I had to So we'll see you then. See you then. Bye. Bye. I really just want to stop putting them up now. Oh, no. I knew this was going to happen. I really, oh, this has been recording for hours. Oops. Gleam have started doing this thing where they take our photos and put it on our PO box, um, but mine, I just thought was so boring, I panicked. Can you see? So this is like the nice version, but I've just redone it. Uh, I think that's way better. Look, naughty and nice. Okay, Anna just took a quick outfit photo of me, which is very kind of her. Um, and now we're going to head to South London. We're going to Southwark Playhouse. We're going to see Tanya in her play. And I'm looking forward to it. Apparently it's a little bit naughty. I'm hoping we're not sitting too close to the front. But I'm excited to see her acting. I feel like I'm nervous for her. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going now. We just bumped into such a nice viewer called Abby. She was so lovely. We literally Abby, want to be her friend. You had your shit together, girl. Yeah. Abby tells what she did. 
where she's from, where she lives, and we were just like, we could be friends. We could so be friends. And she gave us directions to the market, and she said she was excited for the podcast, which made us excited as well. Yeah, we were like top secret, just recording the trailer. <laughs> okay, now for food. Look how cool this food market is. I knew it would be great. I just suggested a starter main dessert. <laughs> yes, I'm up for that. Oh my god, so many options. Guys, this place is huge. It goes all the way inside as well. We like keep turning a corner and finding more. <laughs> and it's like, what? Oh my god, it's a whole nother area. This is huge. I've never been here. I don't know what it's called. Like the greatest place I've ever been. <laughs> oh my god, fresh pasta and bakery. It's called Mercato Metropolitano. That's what this place is called. Guys, I forgot to vlog my food. I did the worst thing and I forgot to vlog my food. I had pad thai, This is going to be the worst vlog ever. But it's not. I had pad thai, of course. It was delicious. And I had... I um, asked the lady what the best seller was. And she was like, the best seller is, is the most expensive burger on the menu. Uh -huh. um, and I had a double cheeseburger. And it was... Oh, it looked good. We're fully full now. And we're ready to go to the play. We're going to go save seats. Because Ruth's here as well. Here's Southwick Playhouse. We're very eager. I feel like we're like the first two. <laughs> we are getting the best seats in the house, okay? We found our seats, they're pretty close. Um, and I'm gonna have to stop filming now. We'll let you know. We're in the thick of the action. We saved a seat for Ruth. We'll let you know afterwards how it goes. I just got home. Um, Anna had to rush off so that she didn't miss her train because they were all cancelled. But the play was so good. I really, really enjoyed it. Tanya did so well. Oh, sorry, I got like a hair on my face. Um, it was so intimate in there. She is just so brave. I would have been absolutely terrified and performing in front of all of those people, um, but in like such a small space. And I met loads of viewers. I saw lots of other like YouTube friends, like Joe and Naomi and Ruth and John and um, and Susie. <laughs> there were loads of people there, which was really nice. I had the worst hay fever ever in that theatre. I don't know why. I think it's like the highest pollen count of the year today, and I was dying. No one else in that whole theatre was. It was just me. Um, so I was really annoying everyone with my sniffing and nose blowing but apart from that it was a really nice night and I just got home I have got to go to sleep because we are meeting the electrician at the house at 8am tomorrow to talk through all the like plug sockets and lights and stuff for the downstairs fun fun I have no idea like where I want anything to go so that's what we're doing in the morning and yeah my haul was a bit of a fail I really wanted to go shopping but I just like couldn't find anything but I am really glad with my one purchase this and other stories yellow top I'm gonna wear that to the hen on Saturday we're going to this place called reggae brunch which is a really cool like bottomless brunch reggae themed where it like gets quite rowdy you have like um jerk chicken rice and peas and then there's like dancing and a DJ and stuff that's gonna be really fun we're doing loads of stuff that's just like one of the things we're doing so yay Looking forward to that and thank you guys for watching this vlog. I will see you in the next one. Bye.